Hi everyone and welcome back. This next activity that we're going to be looking at is red and green. This is a perfect activity for analyzing and evaluating designs. These could be competitor designs, your own new designs, or even your current designs maybe of your website or service. It's really good to understand exactly what areas have pain points, but also what areas you would like to essentially keep doing or that you think are working well. In terms of the tips for this one, as it's a relatively straightforward activity, there's nothing too complicated. But what we do recommend is as part of your red and green activity, it might be good if you ask people to annotate their names um, alongside particular post-it notes. And this makes sure that when you come to ask your questions, you essentially know who to direct your questions at and therefore maybe dig a little bit deeper as to why things have been either said that they were a pain point or why they've been voted for as something it is working well. So as you can clearly see from the board, what we have here are the activity instructions again on that left hand side. And then we provide an example on the right hand side. So what we usually recommend is that you obviously use green post-it notes for the positive thoughts that you have, and then the red post-it notes for things that you potentially need to learn from or opportunities for improvement. So things that might be pain points or issues. So what we recommend is that people enter their text as part of their own post-it notes, and then they move them alongside the point in the page or the feature that they're particularly referencing so again, when you come to do your analysis, it's really clear what people are talking about and which point of the page that might be a problem area or might be something that we want to keep as is. So for example, in the sit back website that we've used here on the right hand side, we've put the green post-it note and the red post-it note against the hero because that's what we are referencing. And in terms of what we think is working well, we think that the title is really clear and grabs the user's attention, but maybe room for improvement would be that the video icon blends in with the rest of the site because it's using that red color. So it might be a pain point that's something that we might want to improve. In terms of your actual template for the participants when you're actually in the activity, again, we have all of the post-it notes assigned to a participant down that left-hand side. And what you would simply do is copy and paste your own wireframe design or website on this right hand side of the page and then ask the participants to write into their post-it notes and then move them alongside the point that they are referencing. So again, just make your analysis very clean and easy and make sure it's really clear what that person is talking about and referencing when they're putting text and requirements into those post-it notes. So thank you so much for your time on that one and I'll see you in the next activity.